you know, for the longest time, there was someone in an, in an executive in an office in LA who was deeming who was of value and what the value of each woman was and what her shelf life was. And that's what the industry had been based on. And I was like, well, wait a minute, why have we given that person all this power when the reality is the actresses in themselves are the ones that have that power. I wanted to now create a system where the artist owns their work. And we made this film for a fraction of what it normally costs in a studio system. So it, that was exciting to me, this idea that perhaps it could be a template that we move forward with. So I was on the jury at Cannes in 2017, and I saw all the posters of male ensemble action films raising money, and I was like, why is that, do we not do this with women? And why is it always like a comedy when it's, you know, an action female ensemble? So all of the actresses I called got involved, they raised the money, and all of the actresses are the owners of this film. Her being a producer on this also felt like um, she was really taking care of us, you know, she was making sure we all got paid the same, we had the same trailers. We were all part of collaborating on the character arcs of, of everyone. So it was great to be able to go to Cannes together to sell the film. We had no idea what was gonna happen and it sold, I think it was a matter of hours, worldwide, record time. But we can't do this without your fingerprints. That is not my problem. Oh, it is if you want to keep them attached to your body. I'm sorry, I have a family. I'm not an agent, I'm a therapist. And this is really not for me. So that was very encouraging for us, you know, for all the pre-production process and all, obviously the shooting, like we were really believing in the film. And I'm very grateful that Jessica and Simon made me a part of this from so early on.